Hi guys, it's Dan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Surfer SEO plugin in WordPress. So the first thing you obviously want to do for this is actually get the plugin. All you want to do is actually go to the Google Chrome extension store and just type in Surfer SEO and it should pop up for you nice and easy. So make sure that's downloaded. And then once it is, you'll obviously have that up there in the top right. So after that, just go to an actual uh, page within WordPress that you are editing in your, on your website. So here's an example of one of ours here. And then what you want to do is actually press the Surfer SEO plugin there in the top right. And what you'll get is actually this pop-up here on the right-hand side, which you can see is the Surfer SEO uh, plugin. So what you want to do next is actually put in your title tag here, which is best rank tracking tools, which is ours there. Pop that into this section here on the right-hand side and press create a query. Make sure that before you do that, it's obviously got mobile set and uh, NLP is on and then press create a query and it'll get working on doing that for you there um, on the right-hand side. So we're going to pause the video whilst that's doing that and then come back to it once it's all sorted. Okay, so once that's done, you actually want to click on your new project there and this page will pop up. So you can see that it's kind of giving you all this data there for your actual article. Now, this actually works quite similarly to Grammarly in that you're editing your content and when you're editing it, you see uh, automatic updates from the data here on the right hand side, which is telling you how many uh, uses of keywords you're using, you know, um, certain things with your content structure, all that kind of stuff. And it gives you an overall score there as well in the right hand side, which says we're at 66 out of 100. So we're not doing too bad right now, but obviously there are a few things that we can improve and we'll have a very quick look at that right now in this video. So obviously here, our headings and paragraphs, all that stuff are all fine. Doesn't say we need to do too much on that. What it's saying we need to improve on is the uh, actual use of certain keywords in certain terms within our actual article. So you can see here, we um, when it has this little uh, exclamation mark next to it, it means we've overused the tool, uh, the actual phrase. So for example, SEO tool, we've overused there. We've used it seven, seven times, and it's saying we should actually only use it maybe the maximum of four. Whereas other phrases here that are highlighted in like a light, uh, light uh, orange color or this light red, we actually haven't used enough. So obviously this one we only used six times, but it's saying we should use it a lot more. This one we've not used at all. So it's saying we should just use it once there. And uh, generally speaking, that's kind of what we actually have to look at here when we're actually looking to improve it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to improve a few of these now, show you kind of uh, the changes that that makes, and then obviously go into a uh, bit more detail about what that does and, and why it's good for SEO. Okay, so you can see there that a few changes have been made and we've got a few more greens and kind of ambers instead of, you know, as many reds that we've had on there. And uh, obviously I've only been spending about two minutes on these changes, but our keyword score has obviously gone up by two there. So the idea basically to summarize is when you're looking at these terms here, you need to think, what do I actually need to add and what might be beneficial to add more? What have I added maybe too much of? And kind of use it as a guide, really. You don't need to take it as complete gospel. Uh, some of these keywords won't, won't really actually be relevant. Sometimes it'll pop up with generic keywords or keywords that are kind of uh, grouped together. And you feel like maybe that's not particularly relevant to add in too much or too little. So it's kind of using your common sense really and looking at it like uh, as, as this is a guide in the same way that it would be for like a Grammarly or something like that. But uh, it's really important to actually use this um, when you're in WordPress as it just makes your content a lot better, a lot more optimized for SEO and obviously making sure that the keywords that you want to use are used throughout your articles. So that's basically that guys. That's how to use Surfer SEO within WordPress. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys later.